it's actually funny that how some people can be looked at as monsters or evil people and to put them down and to go as far as to say good riddance to them without fully knowing their entire background and yet praising the person who killed them as being a hero and any kind of bad behavior or bad things that that person has done anything that was very very inappropriate or evil is automatically covered up just because they don't want them to look bad now what's fair about that Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak. I got a lot of negative replies and comments from uh, certain videos that I did concerning Kyle Rittenhouse, which is, which is to be expected, you know, I don't give a shit, you know, I don't care. But the thing is, the whole entire spectacle of people constantly making jokes and constantly um, calling Kyle a hero for killing two people that they consider to be evil or very bad people or using something stupid like, you know, communists or other, you know, things like that, which, which, which is kind of dumb. Then uh, the thing about it is the two people that were killed, they did do something stupid. Joseph Rosenbaum tried to grab a rifle away from somebody which is extremely dangerous you don't do that it's the kind of thing that you could could you could possibly get lucky and disarm that person I mean I should know because it, it, um, I was I was mugged or robbed at gunpoint with a 12 gauge rifle and the person who um, tried to rob me, I disarmed him. I disarmed that person. And it was a sawed off shotgun because I didn't want to get shot. It may not be the same thing, but um, the thing about it is you don't chase after somebody. Now, Anthony Huber was also very sloppy and how he tried to take the rifle away his intention was not to kill and people are trying to make this media hype saying that he wanted to take the gun away from him so he can kill him shoot him with it or have him beaten to death or whatever the thing or whatever the case may be they exaggerate which is you know that's that's not really true he just wanted to disarm him and of course, beat the crap out of them along with the rest of the protesters. 
but the intention was not really to kill them, to kill him in that sense, but to uh, turn him over to the police for what he did. Now, all these negative things that they're saying about Anthony Huber, about his criminal background, him being, you know, a woman beater and, and, and this and that, you don't beat up a woman. He, uh, he, he has a, um, anger problem or whatever he, or some, all, all these number of things that they're saying about him. I noticed that they're trying to put so much effort into making these victims into you know, uh, um, terrible bad people or monsters that they're far from victims. And Joseph Rosenbaum being, yeah, he was, when he was 18 years old, he did something that was, that was very stupid. It was something that was out of his, out of his control. Pedophiles cannot control their urges. Because from, because for number one, they're born that way. It's genetic. I just did a video in which someone was already talking shit, saying I'm defending pedophiles, so therefore I'm a, I'm condoning their their behavior, or I'm a sympathizer to pedophiles, or I'm a pedophile on myself, or some stupid shit like that. All because I'm saying the truth about what pedophilia really is. And how it's and how it's done when how that person became that way to begin with. And I and I showed a clip with a scientist who was actually explaining it. And the title of the video was Kyle Rittenhouse victim Joseph Rosenbaum was not evil. That was the title of it. So for those of you who wanted to want to find out what you know what I'm talking about in that in that sense and also another video called pedophiles are born that way science says so it has to do with some kind of bad wiring in the brain as a person grows up and of course sexual abuse does play a part in it so even though what he did was appalling, he was he was also into uh, into drugs because he couldn't handle all the stuff that did, that happened to him when he was growing up. I do see Joseph Rosenbaum as a very messed up in the head person. The man had issues, the man had serious issues, but would I go as far as to call him evil? No. So even though it was unfortunate that he died, in my opinion, because he should have stayed in that hospital, in that clinic, instead of being released for whatever the reason, I don't know why they released him, because maybe his insurance or, or somebody didn't want to pay for his stay, because it's all about money, whatever the case may be, I don't know. I could clearly, it's, it's very clear that, that the guy is actually unstable. Now, Kyle Rittenhouse, they're saying all these good things about him. But any little, any little bad thing that they, they, that they talk about, they try to contradict. They try to uh, dispute. And let's just say that Kyle Rittenhouse actually did some things that were um, very bad. Whatever the case may be, let's just say he, I don't know, any any number of things that that's in the category of what people would consider evil. I'm pretty sure it would be covered up because it's not going to look good for him. That's why, and you can just tell by the from his face expressions. That he had no remorse. You can tell from his face expression that, that this guy has some serious issues. 
like you know a power trip kind of thing kind of issues and the guy's a punk in in my opinion but that, 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 that's all that's all I'm gonna be willing to say now if you guys want to defend them defend them I mean of course as ignorant as you are of course you guys are gonna gonna defend this guy but trying to put so much effort into making this guy look like some sort of fucking hero of of you know a big time vigilante type I mean it's, it's very stupid and, and to go as far as to make fun and to criticize and to put down the people that he killed with extreme disrespect that's seriously uncalled for people have I wouldn't doubt it if some of the things that they were saying about Anthony Huber was actually exaggerated I'm not saying that it that it's good for for a man to hit a woman or something like that but on but in certain circumstances depending on on the situation it's understandable if a man would have to punch a woman and knock her out like if she had a knife and she tried to uh, stab somebody or or she tried to stab him and he defended himself and, and knocked her out you know th those are like acceptable kind of things or if there's any kind of serious danger but when it comes to regular domestic abuse it really depends on how severe that person's problem is we don't know we don't really know enough about Anthony Huber to actually label him as a very evil person just because he um, um, beats up women or whatever the case may be or he tried to choke some woman from from what I understand from one something that I heard or whatever like or something like that who knows if if some of who knows of, who knows of, of a few of these women or or big time fucking pain in the asses psycho bitches who just pushed his buttons who just um he couldn't take it anymore he snapped and then he ended up getting violent i mean i mean that does happen i mean it's wrong i mean i don't i don't condone that i, I understand and it's better to walk away i understand that but people sometimes you know they slip they make they um they make mistakes or they screw up in that sense the bottom line for the, for this whole thing is this don't be so quick to judge if you like this video give it a thumbs up questions or comments you know what to do and this is dare to speak and to all of you take care